Welcome loyalty squad. This is the Velvet Locks coming back to you with a powerful, wonderful beauty video. Okay, this is going to be a DIY so that you can learn how to make this wonderful, creamy, hydrating shea butter mixture. Now this is what I call my body butter. I use this in the winter time as well as throughout the year and this gives my skin great hydration, great moisture, long lasting hydration, better than those brands and shea butters that you see in the store. This is more hydrating and much more beneficial for your skin. Okay, you can also use this on your face. You can also use this in your hair if you're a loose natural. I do not recommend using this as a locking gel in your hair. Okay, so you guys, let me show you exactly how I make this wonderful and powerful body butter. Okay, so let me show you some of the things you're going to need for this. You're going to need some mango butter. Okay, I bought this online at uh, one of the wholesale and natural Gosh. butter sites. I'll try to have all the links down below so in case you're interested in making this on your own, you can find exactly where I bought this stuff. But this was very reasonable. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for it. I don't re recall right now, but if you buy them in wholesale bulk form, you, you get a whole lot for your money. And this will last me forever. So some mango butter. I also purchased some shea butter okay this is five pounds of refined shea butter okay we're also going to be needing some other oils as well as well some of our favorite oils you can use whatever your favorite oil is for moisturizing but I'm going to be using my extra virgin olive oil which is what I use during the winter season it really helps to hydrate my skin and it gets it soft and supple and it also gets rid of cellulite okay gets rid of the the noticing appearances of fat cells as well as fine lines this helps to smooth out wrinkles and fine lines so I like to use this it also hydrates your skin very well now you can also use any of your favorite scented essential oils well today I'm going to be using my peppermint oil which I love because it helps to bring blood flow to your skin okay so I'll just be using that today I'll be using my scale and I'll show you exactly how I measure this out. You're gonna need a bowl and a pan, okay? I'm also gonna be using a mixer and I have my little spatula, okay? So what I'm gonna do first to start it off is to put my pot on the stove with some water. Now I need enough water just so that my pan can sit in there. So I need to add a little bit more water to my pot. Also, you're gonna need a container to store your product into once you finish making it. So make sure you have a clear and clean container. Okay, I have a little home scale that I use to measure my products. And this is good for the kitchen. This also measures in gram, in milliliters, in pounds, and ounce forms. So what I did first was start off by measuring my container. So what I did was I needed at least 75 grams of this. Then afterwards, I measured my butters in there until I got to an even amount for both of them. So I pretty much want 75 grams of product. So I have an even distributed amount of 75 grams of my shea butter and 75 grams of my mango butter. So what I'm gonna do next is place a bowl on top of my pan and my pot. We're not gonna microwave this. We're just gonna melt this naturally on top of the stove. Okay, so we're just gonna let this stay on like a medium low flame or a medium flame until the butter has been melted. Now, as you see, my butter is melting. Now, the reasons why we're not putting this in the microwave is because we don't wanna lose the natural elements of the butter by scorching it. So we're trying to keep it as natural as possible. That's why we're melting it in a double melting type of procedure. Uh, we're melting it on top of the water, on top of the hot pan, just so that it can melt naturally. So I'm gonna allow this to continue melting and I'll be right back. Now, if you are living under a rock and have not already 
been visiting or purchasing from my personal eBay store, then I don't know what else to tell you because you are definitely losing out with these wonderful herbal honeys that help men and women in the bedroom. Well, I have some awesome honeys that will boost your body up, that's great for the libido, that's great for the testosterone, that's great to strengthen your stamina, change the mood, increase the sperm count, it helps with that powerful stamina, that uh, stand tall longevity. So check out my eBay store for these herbal honeys that's gonna help you in the bedroom and along with your play play, all right? This is great for both men and women and it comes with so many wonderful benefits. Check down below in my eBay store and when you check out the item, check in the description where it will tell you so much about the item, what you should expect from it, okay? You're not going to see these things on YouTube. You're not going to see anybody else promoting this. This is original and it's only seen on this channel, okay? So like I said, visit down below in my eBay store. The links will be down in the description box of this video and you will be able to have access to all of these awesome items in my store, all right? So until the next time, you guys, have fun, okay? And I will see you in the next video. Okay, so now that mine is melted, what I'm gonna do is allow this to cool down a little bit before I continue because I need this to down a little bit. Get your other ingredients that you're gonna need. I also decided I'm gonna put in some of my almond oil, which is a very good massaging oil as well as a moisturizer. So this is another wonderful oil to add into your, your body butter, as well as my extra virgin olive oil and my peppermint oil. So get your blender ready, and when this cools down, I'll be right back. So what I'm gonna do now is take my extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my oil in there. I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of my almond oil. And I'm only gonna add in what's left but you can actually add in as much peppermint oil or essential oil that you're going to be scenting this with and that's about a teaspoon which is okay and it gives it a nice powerful peppermint scent which I love that feeling and smell on my skin it's very calming and therapeutic so what I'm gonna do is mix this in very well And like I said, you can use whatever essential oils you desire. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put this in my freezer part of my refrigerator and allow it to get cool. Not cold, but a little cool. And I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so it's been in the refrigerator for at least eight minutes. And as you can see, it's starting to, starting to solidify on the side. So I'm going to allow this back in the freezer for at least another 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so now after 15 minutes, your shea butter is going to look like this. Okay, so once it starts solidifying, now it's time for us to start blending. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add this back in my freezer and allow it to cool again or chill for at least another 10 minutes and, and I'll be right back. Okay, so 10 minutes later, it's gonna look like this. Okay, and basically you're gonna do the same thing. So as you see, it gets even more fluffier 
as you whip it. Now comes the storage part. Now you're gonna get yourself a clean container and just store it in there. It's gonna be nice and thick. Okay, and that's what it's gonna look like, you guys. Now you can actually store this either in your refrigerator or if or it's can. not too hot in your home, you can actually leave this out. This way it doesn't melt. But even if it does melt a little bit, it's still gonna be okay. It's gonna last you forever. This is very moisturizing. Okay, but you can also play with this and add in other essential oils and carrier oils to give more moisture and hydration to it if you choose to. But this is just a nice, basic, simple way of moisturizing your body, moisturizing your skin. This works for me every year, every year. And it keeps my skin nice and subtle, supple, and um, wrinkle-free, moisturized. It also helps with cellulite and fat cells. So this is really a nice body butter. You can use all year round and add different scents to them. You can play around with the scents. But this is definitely a wonderful winterizing, moisturizing cream. It's gonna definitely hydrate your body, keep the dryness away, and is great for cracked feet. If you got bad feet and bad heels, this is great for cracked feet, okay? It's in a nice little whipped form, and that's what it's gonna look like. And like I said, you could either keep this in the refrigerator, if you choose to. This I use all year round. In the summer, it keeps me hydrated all throughout the day. And in the summer, I will keep it in the refrigerator. But when it's nice and warm in the house, you could either leave it out or pop it in the refrigerator, keep it there until you need it, okay? So thank you so much for joining me on this video. I just wanted to show you this quick and easy DIY of how you can make your own body butter. And you can make this all year round. You can make it for your body, for your face. Um, great for moisturizing your skin. Great for um, smoothing out those wrinkly skins, getting rid of the cellulite deposits, the fat deposits, smooth you out, okay? A really nice natural way of taking care of your skin, give it that youthful look, the youthful glow, and add also some elasticity back into your okay. skin. So again, you guys, thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Share these videos with your friends and family. I will have the links as to where you can find the mango butter and the shea butter, the natural refined form, if you can't find it in your local area, okay? So until the next time, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Now, if you are living under a rock and have not already been visiting or purchasing from my personal eBay store, then I don't know what else to tell you because you are definitely losing out with these wonderful herbal honeys that help men and women in the bedroom. Well, I have some awesome honeys that will boost your body up, that's great for the libido, that's great for the testosterone, that's great to strengthen your stamina, change the mood, increase the sperm count, it helps with that powerful stamina, that uh, stand tall longevity. So check out my eBay store for these herbal honeys that's gonna help you in the bedroom and along with your play play, all right? This is great for both men and women and it comes with so many wonderful benefits. Check down below in my eBay store and when you check out the item, check in the description where it will tell you so much about the item, what you should expect from it, okay? You're not gonna see these things on YouTube. You're not gonna see anybody else promoting this. This is original and it's only seen on this channel, okay? So like I said, visit down below in my eBay store. The links will be down in the description box of this video and you will be able to have access to all of these awesome items in my store, all right? So until the next time, you guys, have fun, okay? And I will see you in the next video.